Hi viewers, today's review is going to be on the automobile section Triber RXZ model, a Renault 2019 released car. I've owned one and uh, it's almost a year that I've owned a Triber RXZ model and I had already given the review, uh, the detailed uh, interior and exterior review a year back and now I thought since I've <coughs> driven the car for almost uh, 5k uh, kilometers I thought particular car as a user after a year so if you are planning to buy Triber then you certainly need to watch this video for the pros and cons what kind of uh, what kind of features are you looking at in a Triber or in a car and you can decide let's get into the pros of Triber uh, the top end variant RXZ. Now the first and most important part of buying a car with all the features what not does it pinch your pocket. Now is it an expensive affair or it's an economical affair. Now India is obsessed with economy so <clears throat> the economical part of things you see the mileage the price etc. You have a lot of products which are really good but I I've failed in the market because of the pricing but what I can tell you one thing is Triber's pricing is spot on. A year back when I bought RXZ model Triber uh, it costed me 8 lakhs on road Bangalore price. Now <clears throat> with the Covid thing and other things happening now I hear the price to be 8.5 but it is certainly value for money. So the pricing is just right for a car of this size, this utility and price is a positive. Now the second feature is the space, the utility. The amount of space Triber has, I can vouch and tell you that it has created a segment for itself. It's not a small car, it's not a sedan, but it's a um, MUV, I would say multi-utility vehicle. The space is so well designed, the R&D department needs uh, kudos for bringing up such a car. It is truly Indianized because we are really obsessed with space and space is a big factor when you are taking your car out, you need to pack in a lot of luggage etc. Triber wins over there. Space is the second positive what I have seen in Triber. Now the third one is the utility. Now, Lot of cars are there where it gives you the space but certain times you are uh, left with uh, is it really utilized or not. Now that is where Triber takes a big positive portion where you can convert the last two seats with passengers or without. You take the one seat out and then you put in your luggage, you take the two seats out, put in luggage. No, you are carrying a lot of luggage and you are <coughs> going with a seven passenger then what interestingly they have done is they have given you a 50 kg load on top of the car. So the railing over there on top is just not for design but for utility as well. So their utility kudos for taking up this particular car. So the third point is utility. Now the fourth factor is the mileage. Now Triber, I can easily tell you if you are driving between 80 and 90 range like what I am doing very rare I touch a 3 digit one 80 90 range take it from me it is giving me easily 16 to 18 kilometers per liter and I am happy about that. Now <clears throat> I have touched 130 or 100 plus I have touched and I can see the mileage dropping to 13, 14 and 15 in that range but if you drive 80 to 90, I can tell you, you will easily get 16 to 18 as mileage. So mileage is another obsessed factor for us and there also kudos, Triber has done it. Uh, fifth positive, I, I could call it a positive and a negative is, they have given you for the top end a lot of features but not all. They have given you most of the features but not all. There are certain features which is missing which I would be discussing in the cons but overall feature wise I would say for a top end they have given you some features and they have certainly made it a value for money car. 
that much is sure it's a value for money. So these are the five positives of Triber. Now, where Triber lacks is what I want to tell you. The first thing is everyone the reviewers are sitting on, the engine should be powerful. It should be 1.2, 1.5, etc. for a seven seater. Now, I certainly acknowledge that factor that the engine is underpowered. Underpowered here meaning it's just a one liter engine. And if you have hefty people, seven people climbing a hill, then I would say Triber will struggle. But if you are a family with different weight measurements and you're going on a seven, easily Triber will take you. So if you get a turbo engine with a 1.2, Triber would be an amazing hit car. Okay, so the underpower one, 1.2 should have been a good uh, lesson for Renault to come back with a turbocharged engine should be a good one for a seven seater. Okay, now that's the first point. The second point is it is not a feature rich car at the top end level. There are a lot of misses like the OVRMs do not close automatically for a top end. I could understand for a mid version that it could be manual, but for a top end, you have it to be manual. So that's where one. Uh, feature was missing. The second one is a top end should always have the steering mounted controls with your audio and Bluetooth and other connectivity because the drawback what I saw was the car is really good on the safety side meaning on the safety it has four airbags front and side all those are really good. Safety standards exceptionally good but one catch what I could see was the side airbags are, are put on the seats of the front two seats so ideally you cannot have a cover put on the seats so that is a kind of a drawback is what i've seen you could cover the other three and two seats behind with a different color and leave the front two seats in the same manner so that is one particular thing they should have thought of a different way to put the side airbags so that the seat is not hindered okay so that's one of the drawbacks. Drawback what I saw is if you are a person who is driving always on the highway at 130 and above then Triber is not your car. It will not give you that zip factor, that zoom factor to take the car out and rip on a highway at 130 plus speeds. No, Triber is not the car you would be looking at. So these are the pros and cons of Triber. Hope if you are planning to buy Triber, keep one thing in mind, it is certainly value for money. It is for the people who enjoy family driving, who go out occasionally on highways and it's a very comfortable car, it's a utility oriented car and you will go decently on an 80-90 relaxed mode of driving. If you look at it, then Triber is your car to go for. So <coughs> go ahead. Make your decision and happy driving. Thanks a lot for watching.